cancer is something that women think they know a lot about. Look for lumps, have mammograms, see our doctors. But none of that will save you from one silent breast cancer killer. It's inflammatory breast cancer. And I want to warn you that some of what you're about to see is graphic, something you're not used to seeing on a newscast. But Como Force's Michelle Esteban reports it's something every woman must know. Nancy Key didn't know. I was furious and at the same time terrified that I was going to die because I didn't know. What Marilyn Willingham didn't know killed her. She smiled and took a breath and went to sleep. And Christine Turk didn't know. It's going to be a tough fight. <laughs> They didn't know there was more than one kind of breast cancer. They didn't know they could get breast cancer without a lump. They didn't know a mammogram would not detect this kind of breast cancer. They didn't know inflammatory breast cancer, or IBC, is the most aggressive form of breast cancer. They didn't know until they got it. How can I have something when I go to the doctor every year, I do self-breast exams every month, and what is this? Why am I surprised? We've all been taught the same thing when it comes to breast cancer, look for a lump. Here's a classic example. This is a breast cancer tumor. That right there is a lump. But when it comes to IBC, forget that you won't find a lump. In fact, what you'll see is something very similar to this. This is cancer. It's sheets of cancer, or what doctors refer to as nests of cancer. This is what an inflammatory breast can look like. The cancer clogs breast tissue vessels. If I had heard of it prior, then you know I probably would have been more suspect that it was something else wrong, rather than just being young and dumb. Christine was just 37 when she was diagnosed with IBC, three years away from the recommended age to start mammograms. Patty Bradfield can never forget the day her daughter Christine told her. I have the kind that I'm going to die. And I... Patty had never heard of IBC either. Ignorance is causing death. My name's Patty, and... Patty is determined to warn every woman she meets. Have you heard of inflammatory breast cancer? I'm not trying to sell anything. My daughter has stage four, and I'm trying to alert women. On this Kirkland Street corner, she stopped 46 people. 42 never heard of IBC. I've never heard of it. The interesting thing is that most women have never heard of inflammatory breast cancer, and most physicians heard about it in medical school, but have never seen a case. Nancy and Marilyn's doctors told them they had bug bites on their breast and prescribed antibiotics. By the time they were diagnosed, they were stage four. The cancer was everywhere. I'd actually never dealt with stages of cancer. I didn't know there wasn't a stage five. Andy was just 16 when she died from IBC. She was too embarrassed to tell her mother her breast looked funny. It was slightly enlarged and her nipple inverted like this classic IBC symptoms. The most common symptoms include rapid increase in breast size, redness, skin hot to the touch, persistent itching, and thickening of breast tissue. It's important to understand your breasts, and nobody knows your own breasts better than you. We need to get the same message out, but we need to emphasize a different part of it. Lynn Hagerman runs the local chapter of the Susan G. Komen Foundation, the leader in breast cancer awareness. But Hagerman admits, with all the emphasis they put on looking for a lump, inflammatory breast cancer patients don't get enough warnings. In fact, it's hard to find information on IBC on the Komen website. Because of our report, Komen is going to change its website. I'm really glad that you're raising the question. But IBC survivors tell me it's not enough. Enough. When they were diagnosed, they called cancer centers and could not get help. So I called four cancer helplines. Three out of the four didn't know about IBC. It stands for inflammatory breast cancer. Three separate words. Even when I spelled it out, they still didn't know. And I just want to make sure I've called the resource desk at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Is that right? Okay. When her own helpline didn't know, that shocked Dr. Graylow. Wow. Which means that we have education of our own staff to do. 
Now, Michelle is here with me with more on IBC and what you can do about it if you have questions. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, our phone bank is open to you right now, so if you have questions, go ahead and call. The best way to detect IBC is either with an MRI or a biopsy, and of course, it's knowing the system symptoms. We really want to tell you what we've been hearing here, because it's really been re remarkable. We've been here since 4 o'clock, and a number of women have been calling in and saying things like, you've saved my life. I had what I thought was a bug bite. I've been given an antibiotic. My doctor has told me to wait six months, and now I'm going to go to the doctor again to be sure. Now I know about this. Hopefully it won't be IBC. But what's important is people are really learning, Kathy, that there is not just one kind of breast cancer. So if you want to call in, we'll give you the numbers. They're on your screen. Be sure to call in. The phone lines are open until 630. And there are doctors in here, and there are also folks who've been touched in some way. Some people have had this or have had a loved one that have had it. Yeah. And I should tell you, we have one of the top IBC doctors in the country here. So we're very lucky to have All right. her. Good. Thanks, Michelle. Dan.